Hello, I'm Mark Oppenlander, and I'm back with the fifth video of the fifth song from the eighth album of One Alternative called Twilight. And this song is the last song on the first side of the LP, and it's written by my co-founder Jill Haley. And uh, the piece is called Sunrift Gorge. And Sunrift Gorge appeared on this CD, Glacier Soundscapes, that Jill did a few years ago. She's a very prolific writer, and she writes some beautiful music that um, she, this is all dedicated to the National Park uh, system that just turned 100 years old this year. And uh, she plays uh, oboe, English horn, and piano. She has a wonderful touch on the piano. I highly suggest you check that out. What we did is uh, I, I made an arrangement of this song for the band, and it just seemed very natural that this should go on the album. So without further ado, I'm going to go into it, and here it is. It is basically the same arrangement that is on the um, Glacier Soundscapes recording, um, but it has bass and drums added, and a couple of guitars added here and there, and a different section near the end. right here. Probably very little because I'm recording on an iPad here and these are my speakers in my room. I'm going to now take you through a little trip of, of, of what the album looks like. You've seen this and this is the yin yang that has been with One Alternative for 34 years. And uh, in fact, it was uh, on our first album, Green Lawn. There it is there. And so decided to bring it back and colorize it up. Here's the back of the album. There's Jill, myself, James McLaughlin appears on Stratus on piano and organ. Here's our liner notes. Gatefold, which basically has the uh, history of one alternative all in photos. The record itself, 180 grams. There you go. It's pressed at Palast in Germany, so I can tell you it is a wonderful pressing. This is the uh, section that I added on at the end of the song, and it allows the English horn to uh, just sail away, and uh, it's just quite a wonderful job. And uh, it's just a, it's just a, it's like traveling down the road with this thing into a sunroof gorge, you see. But don't travel off the road into the sunroof gorge, but past it. This section sound a little bit more lush. Uh, this is over in about 40 seconds, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to uh, show you um, how I added the 12 string guitar to this and uh, the difference of the sound. Like, you can't really hear 
the 12 string guitar does not come out and bop me over the head, but it adds uh, an ambience that would not have otherwise be in the song. Here comes the end. Alright, so. The 12 string guitar that I use is a beautiful 1968 Martin guitar. This thing sounds like a harpsichord. And uh, this is one of my prized possessions. I love the sound of this guitar. I didn't use it a lot on this album. Uh, I used it a lot on past one alternative albums. It changes one of our uh, best tunes, I think. This, this is prominently on that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk over, <laughs> lean over, and bring this iPad with me so that you can see what, what we have recorded on. Let me see if I can bring it down here. There we go. That's a Boss BR-1180. Come on, if I can get it. It's kind of hard to do this. There it is. Got it. And believe it or not, this has a lot of the music on it. Not, we did record every single part of the music on this. The oboe, English horn parts were recorded up at Jill's on to um, Jeff's equipment, Jeff Towns' equipment. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, flick this. I'm going to put on the end of the song. I'm going to just put it back on me, I think. There we are. I'm going to put it on the end of the song. Let's see how this works. And I should have had it queued up, and I will have it queued up in a second. Just give me a sec here. There we go. All right, so this is basically the whole recording. And it sounds good like this, but if I add this, now you're going, well, you know, it sounds different. It sounds I, for lack of a better word, lush. So I'm gonna fade out the the band. And this is what I did. I added the 12 string guitar in. It's got an actually, it's like a different meter. But the meter's going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I thought you might be interested in that. It's one of the little things, the joys of recording, trying to figure out what to make something better. All right, so, fade that out. We are now gonna go into the second side of the recording on the next video, and I'll see you on the other side.